Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm going to try to do another read because that was very um, specific, that word. I can't say. <laughs> For somebody in particular, I normally do not do reads like that. And it's funny because I was guided to a certain channel this morning. And the way she reads um, was kind of like that. And it was funny because I only watched it for like five minutes. And I was like, nah. But apparently I got the goosebumps. So there was... Somebody needed to hear that message, that style of read, I guess. Like, I don't know what to say. Okay, so I'm going to try to pull a different one um, and, and see what I get. So, I also had a dream last night that um, Kai was saying peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. Kai, peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. All right, so now we have the Man of Crystals, the Eight of Crystals. So now we have the King of Swords feeling trapped, okay? Um, wanting to nurture something with the Three of Pence, but I don't know how that's going to... How do you nurture something when you feel trapped, okay? Because that's somebody doing something because of not a good reason. So I don't... I, I don't know the word I'm looking for. That's somebody doing something. Because if you're trapped, how do you nurture something, okay? They're not having life, love. I mean, they're not having fun in their life with devil's play reverse. So what this is telling me is that this person's bored, okay? This person's bored. So I think they're going to try to come in because they feel trapped somehow, okay? But this person's bored. So they're going to try to nurture something. So that's lousy. What the friggle sticks is going on with that energy today? What the frig, man? I don't like that, I don't like that shit. The Devil's Play is all about, you know, the universe really wanting you to play and have fun. So with it being reversed, this person's bored, possibly depressed. I gotta clarify. Tell me about the man of swords, king of swords. And we have the child of crystals at the bottom of the deck. So somebody's watching you. This gentleman is watching somebody, and the universe is upright. So it's time for something to step in. And creativity is re reversed. So that's telling me this person does not know how to come forward. But it's like time for this person to come in. So maybe it was meant for them to be bored. That's effed up though. It's like, it looks to me with like the nurturing. I, I have like, I thought I was seeing different seasons, but I'm not. Tell me about the mana crystals. King of Swords, King of Swords. So it looks like there's an air sign. Okay, we got the lovers. That's a bond. So this person feels trapped in this bond. Tell me about the Eight of Crystals. The damn tower. Son of a bitch. They're trying to break... They're trying to figure out a way to break the bond. This is a sudden shift of energy. This is, I feel bored, so let's take action. But I don't like that. Tell me about the tower. Because the tower can be beneficial. But in this case, I think they're setting themselves up. Oh, I don't know. The death card. This is a breakup. So this person has already broken up with you. And now it looks like they want to come back and nurture it. I really felt like I wanted that card. It's temperance. Which would make sense, trying to balance out their emotions. Because they got an incredible bond for you. They're watching you. They feel trapped. You know, to me, it's kind of like they went through the healing process. Tell me, 
So they do want to nurture. Tell me about nurture. I just, um, I flipped in my hand. It's the queen of pence. But she's looking in this direction. So it's like, you want to nurture this particular woman. But this woman's already nurtured the shit out of this person. So I could see why there would be a tower. This is, you know, with the tower and the death side by side, that's a straight up breakup. Don Finito. No communication, nothing. Tell me about this Queen of Pence. But this is this King of Swords wanting to nurture her. Okay? She's see, she's not she's not trapped anymore. At one point she was feeling trapped. This is very karmic. Tell me about Devil's Play. This is that gentleman. This is the King of Swords board. You know, see, yeah, see, the fool. Like, not, and it's reverse. So not really wanting to take that new stat, all right? Not dealing with karma. But his thoughts are with this woman. And he's watching this particular woman, okay? Um, so prepare, prepare yourself for, I'd say within the next couple days, this person might try to reach out. What's this man of swords going to do? Because this is somebody who didn't want a new style at one point, you know, had options, but now I think they want to nail down the options. See, yeah, see, now they feel victorious, but to me, I'm feeling freaking envy. I'm feeling pride. So this person was probably like dead against having a new spot with you. But now they don't know how to come in because of shit went down, shit that went down. So to me, I think you already nurtured the shit out of this. Like I was saying, you wanted that new spot. You wanted all that. And they were like, no effing way. Like probably blocked you. Probably haven't heard from this person in a long time. And now this is, now this person's bored though. See, that's why I think this is pride too. Tell me about the six of wands. This is straight up pride. So, but this is that person thinking about you. What is this? Page of cups. They got a feel, they got a feeling for you now. Okay. Um, it's just a little feeling though. And a lot of it, I'm sure, has to do with Mercury Retro. Everything going retro. But it's karma. It was the way it was supposed to go down. But I think this person might be looking at you right now because you might even be successful. Being the Queen of Pens, you have a lot to offer. This, could, this person could be after something materialistic. Why did this person not want the new stat? Why? They were either dealing with their past or you have children. Tell me about the Six of Cups. To me, it was definitely one or the other. You had children or they were, they were dealing with their own past, all right? Three of Wands reversed. Not, definitely no growth, okay? Um, not wanting to settle down, not wanting to take the next step. This person you were dealing with was very non-committal. And they're watching you still. Tell me about the Child of Crystals. The nice thing is, is this woman... I don't even think this woman is thinking about this person anyway. Alright? This person's refusing to lay weight down. That's what I'm saying. You're dealing with a narcissist. You, this, is, this person, I think, is truly after your money. I'm not going to lie to you. What does this person want from the Queen of Pence? What does this person want from the Queen of Pence? I don't know if they're going to come in and try to tell you. See the Three of Pence reverse. They're going to come in and try to play you, I think. Like, oh, I want to work together. You know, because this is, this is what I'm saying. Like, they're contradicting themselves because the Three of Pence is right here. They're going to come in. I want to nurture yada yada because I'm bored, like I said. Okay? They might be after your money. 
and this is the coin. So, but when this fell, this is reversed. All right. So it's like they're playing you. Be super careful here. I'm not kidding. This is pride. This person might think they can be victorious because I think you got money. I'm not playing you right now. I'm not kidding. I'm feeling it. There's three of pens. See? Look at that. I used to saw that they're lying to you. I didn't expect that. This is a very karmic day. Okay. Um, my best advice I can give you guys is don't talk to nobody. <laughs> don't reply to no messages. Don't talk to nobody. Especially if this past comes back. It looks like you're dealing with an air sign for sure because you got the king of swords right here. And then you got the page of swords watching you. And they're coming in the board. They never wanted a new start before. And now they want to come in and collaborate or they want to tell you they want to nurture it, but they don't. All right. They're lying. But to me, this 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 mama is already doesn't feel trapped anymore. So this goes to tell me it was an, a huge, huge bond. All right. There's no question. Even a past life with the six of cups, even if this refers to children or their past, it's still on the same board. The six of cups with the the lovers. All right. This is karmic. You can be with a karmic, okay? I'm not saying you can't. It, so, it's a very karmic day, but here's the thing. It's like a soul bond. It's like a soul tie, okay? But I don't know if you guys have a contract or not. It looks like you might. But you can break contracts, okay? So, pooey. Tell me about this three of pence. I really think this person's after your money. I'm not going to lie to you. Look at another seven of pence, all right? And it's like, you invested a lot of time, but it's reversed. So it's like, I don't think you're going to invest the time. Or I think you might be naive to the situation and, be, and you thought you would it would never come in. But if it comes in, it's not, it's not good intent because the seven and the three is a ten. All right? They're looking for stability. They're looking for coins. All right? They've been watching, watching you. Then they don't want to lay weight down. This is a fake page of cups. And and if they, a fake offer, tell me about the page of cups. And if it's a true offer, it's the tiniest little feeling, okay? It's not like they're doing it for a certain reason. Yeah, see? You want to know why? Because they want your money with the king of pence. They, you know, they're, they're after you for your money. The king and the queen, their intentions are probably to end up marrying you depending on how successful you are. I'm not playing with you right now. This is, see, look at time. No, I'll give time when I'm ready. They don't really want that new start. You're dealing with a knack, <laughs> you know, regretting the situation. Why? Probably because you got money now. Um, that's what this is all day. So if somebody comes in, they're coming in because the board, they're, they're tricking you, they're playing you. I really dug for you on this one. I'm telling you, this is something that was completely overdone for Nito. The, no. Okay. They didn't want that new start. They had options. They were playing. Okay. They were probably playing with their past too. They didn't want to settle down. They, I don't even think their mentality would let them even settle down. They were too busy, too busy playing like this. I'm surprised the night. Tell me about the three. Like the night didn't pop in. This person had options. This person played. This person wasn't thinking about stability. And if they were, they were thinking about material stability. And it wasn't with you at the time. I guarantee that. You know, so yeah, see, this was a sad, this was a lesson. This is a Sagittarian lesson, not a Sagittarian, a Saturn lesson. And this person, I think, is spiritual and they're manipulating it. Um, this person's coming back around. I think they might even got broken hearted by somebody else. Could even have been a Sag. So the board, all right? It's almost like, tell me about this four of swords. This is not meditating, going within. This is like manipulating something. Look at, see the seven of swords. See, they're unstable. I told you that. They're unstable. I know what I'm talking about. I wish you the best of luck, okay? I just got the queen. I just got the goosebumps. And look at the queen of, um. who's this mama? The queen of swords, queen bee, okay? That's like the universe saying, cut that shit out. All right, this, nope, this person doesn't want a relationship. Nope, cut it out. 
All right, this this relationship is a, is a no-go. You've probably been holding on to this person because you know there's that bond. See, there's that bond. It's a very, very comic bond. You guys have a soul contract. I don't know what you're going to do. This this really does sound like a twin, okay? Yeah, let's see, there was another woman. This is judgment. You're going to have to make a, a huge judgment call on this one, guys, because I really think this is a twin, and I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think it's time, but the universe card is here, right? Yeah, see? Son of a bitch. But that doesn't mean to get back together. That means it's just time for this person to come in, okay? Now, for you, for my mamas, you got a big decision to make. So maybe this does correlate with the other one, and you, you found yourself in a situation where you're like, ah, you're like, oh, shit, you know? But you've been stabbed in the back. Look at you. You're the empress. You got money. This is for somebody who has money or is on the way towards money. There's no question. It was just 15, 15. Where's my phone? I got to pause you because I'm back. Okay. Let's see what 15, 15 means. If you didn't have money, you do now. This person's very materialistic. Okay. This person's broke. And I did mention, um, I did mention seasons, guys. I, maybe this person doesn't want to spend any more time alone. They're not getting what they want. You know, so they're going to come back and pretend like they want something, I'm telling you. But here's the deal. Like I said, it's a twin. It's something, okay? 1515 symbolizes changes that you need to make to achieve your own goals to make your dreams into reality. You will often see the angel number with the guardian angels want you to understand the meaning to, and how to apply it to your life, okay? So this is time for you to focus on your goals. So this is like a, a temptation move. You, I'm telling you, like, changes you need to make. When you're about to make a major decision, and it is, okay? Especially when you've just closed the last chapter of your life. You will see the 1515. Holy shit. Where'd that just go? When you're about to make a major decision or you're about to close a chapter in your life, you will see the angel number 1515, okay? This is because you're about to begin something that can be potentially... Where did that just go? Why is it doing this? It's like it doesn't want me to read it. Potentially change your life. And you should be aware of the divine realm. And they and think about your plans. This guiding angel wants you to have a positive outlook and some focus on things that truly matter. You should also take your thoughts towards the direction of your goals. All right. So to me, this is saying focus on you. Uh, you take that how you want. This 1515, you take this how you want to take it. Okay. Because I think this person is manipulating, but this could be one of those situations where I talked about pure love, okay? Because this could be it, and it could just take a long time for this. It could take months and months. This is going to be work, okay? But they're coming in with ill intent. But they do have feelings, okay? But it, it's minimal. It's really about the money. I'm not going to lie to you. I really wish you the best of luck, because this is a tough, tough, tough scenario. I literally got the goosebumps. I, I wish you the best of luck, okay? Um... This is tough. This is <sighs> synthesis. Okay. It does talk about change. It's like photosynthesis. I don't. <sighs> oh, man, guys. This is a tough one because this could be saying with the 1515, you know, focus on your goals and don't give a flying rat's ass about this person, please. Okay. Um, or could be saying, you know, I don't know. I, I really need you to interpret um, the 15, 15 for yourself. My my computer might die. It needs to change. Let me just pull you one card that say best advice for that particular read, please. Best advice. All right. The warrior and the high priestess of air. All right. So ground yourselves. Like, you know. Be the warrior. Truly, you truly are protected and you are protected. Whatever you experience right now, all will be well if your question is regarding love. This card represents someone who is deeply committed, protected, and kind to you. A friendship or love is scarce. These qualities are important to relationships to grow. If this person does not have these qualities, then move on. I will send you somebody with true warrior spirit instead. Remember, life is about learning and disconcerting who is true and who is not. There's another message here to consider. Do you embody these qualities yourself? Now is the time to look how committed you are to your path. So they're saying focus on work. If this person is an ass and manipulative, like I was saying, and focus on their money and their material, your material gain, then choose somebody else because they'll send you a true warrior spirit. 
but they're not going to send you that true warrior spirit until you become your own warrior, you fight your own battles, and you tell this person to F off. I'm not playing with you, all right? That's what this is telling me. So you can interpret the 1515 how you want, but this is exactly what this is saying, because if this is regarding love, if this person is not committed and protective and kind to you, you know, no, you know? If this person doesn't have these qualities, then move on. I will send you a true warrior spirit instead. Remember, life is about learning and, discon and disconcerning who is true and who is not. So that's what I'm saying. It's temptation. This is your time to, they're tempting you. Will you repeat that cycle? All right, because I'm, I'm telling you, I know you know. All right. And now it's saying, now is a good time for you to think of how committed you are to yourself. Because when I cut the deck, it was the empress. You are the empress. Go after your path, your goal. You keep your financials in your piggy bank, okay? And it's a two, three, all right? So now is the time to eat well, rest, and connect with the power of earth and absolutely try to go barefoot. It's, it's you know, use your magic in your spirit. If your question is about a situation or a love interest, you know, the high priestess is asking you to wait until you see tangible evidence of what it is you're truly understanding about this relationship, okay? Stay grounded and wait and see. So it could be both. But don't you dare get caught up too quick and lose pri and lose your priority because your number one focus right now is you. Do you understand me? Super frustrating when this this just shit happens because it makes it makes shit complicated. I, I truly, truly wish you the best. Please um rewatch this twice and don't forget who you are. I love you guys so much. Bye.